I think we all know the importance of school breaks. When kids are out of school, families are more likely to travel. The more likely to travel, it's easier to fill rooms. It's easier to have a higher rate. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities that come out of this. The trick is that the data has been always very hard to explore. The data has been very hard to analyze on a level that really teases out those opportunities for you individually uh, as a property, as a resort, as a DMO, as an airline, uh, whatever the case may be. The School Calendar Explore is designed to give uh, travel professionals the ability to dig into this data in ways that they need to, to really identify those opportunities in ways that they haven't been able to before. Let me give you a simple example by just walking through this interface quickly. Uh, along the top, you'll see a handful of date range filters. You can filter by the school year, by the month, the day, a break description. Um, you can filter it by age, so universities versus public school districts. You can filter it by location, state versus individual or multiple school districts. And whenever you change any of those parameters, the chart and the map are also going to change. The chart is showing black as the current school year and orange as the previous school year. So you can identify those year over year trends when when uh, calendars are, are changed a little bit based on, on various events. And then you can also view this to really tease out regionally where things are happening with the uh, map below this. And a larger circle is going to indicate a place where more students are on break and a smaller where fewer students are on break. On the right, if you select a different um, uh, date range and there are specific dates identified, the key dates such as holidays identified within that range, it's gonna tease those out and show you what uh, dates and holidays you should focus on uh, during that range. You can toggle between a map view and a table view. You can also use the Q&A button, which is a uh, feature that we include that's powered by AI where you can actually use plain English to ask questions of the data and it will give you an answer back in plain English as well. So let me toggle to another month to show you how this might work. So if we go to September, for example, we'll notice that there are a couple spikes here. And those spikes correlate to uh, Labor Day, as we see over here on the right. Um, you'll also see that the chart and the map have changed. So if we look at this map, we'll notice some larger circles in uh, New York, it looks like. We'll see one in Washington. And we can right click on this circle, select Drill Down, and it's going to show us the individual cities within that state where those kids are more likely to be out of school. Um, we can go back up by clicking the up arrow. And then if we select a specific date and we click drill through date detail, this is another way to explore the trends within that date. We're gonna see um, a ranking of states uh, where kids are more likely to be out of school. And then also individual counties and MSAs within those states where there are a higher percentage of, of kids that are on, on break. And then you can also see the top five states, the percentage of students that are off and the total number of students that are off of that date range. Again, you can uh, explore this by, by date, by age, by location. You can drill into the calendar, you can drill into the, uh, the chart. And whenever you click on something, everything else is gonna filter so you can really dig into the data and identify those opportunities. Again, both in your current markets, but also identify new markets and align you know, where there's a soft spot in demand or occupancy in your hotel. You can search the School Calendar Explorer by those dates and identify new markets to target marketing in your own database or on other channels as well. So that's a School Calendar Explorer. We'd love to show you around. Just let us know if you have any questions at all.